Today, I'm going to show you how to use RVC completely online and for free. Now, just a quick intro on what exactly is RVC or retrieval based voice conversion. This is a free and open source AI for you to do voice to voice conversion as well as text to speech as well as text to speech. There are literally thousands of voice models to choose from, and you can also train your own voice models as well, which I'll talk about in the end. You can see all of these were trained using RVC version 2. Now, the best way to use RVC is to actually install this to your computer. You don't need a GPU or a nice computer to do voice to voice conversion. In other words, to convert one voice into another person's voice. And to do that, see this video where we go over the full installation process and how to use RVC. However, if you're watching this video, you probably hit some error along the way and you couldn't actually install it or get RVC to work on your computer. So another option would be to use Google Colab, right? Well, this worked a few months ago, but now Google Colab's free plan has banned the use of graphical interfaces such as RVC. So if you try to run RVC on Google Colab, you're going to get this disconnect message. So all right, you're running into errors on your computer. You can't even run RVC online in Google Colab. What other option do you have? Well, there's another free way to use RVC online and it still works right now. It's hosted on Hugging Face Spaces and this project is called RVC HF v2 written by this guy r3gm so thank you whoever you are i'll link to this hugging face space in the description below you can see it has all the regular functions of the rvc interface including model inference this is where you convert one voice into another person's voice it does have a train tab but note what it says here this space only uses gpu so it's only for inference you cannot train a voice model in this space if you want to specifically train an AI voice model, I just released another video on that where you can do it online for free in Google Colab. So definitely check out this video. But back to this hugging face space, you can see it also has text to speech, which we will go over in a second. All right, so the first thing you need to do is duplicate this space. Otherwise, all your audio files and all your models will actually be public. So let's click on duplicate. And you'll notice if you click on duplicate like this, it's actually going to show you a 404 because the link is broken. So what you can do instead is click the three dots up here and then click duplicate this space. Another way to do it is going back to this URL up here, just paste in question mark duplicate equals true. And then you'll be taken to this page where you can duplicate the space. So my account name is called AI Tool Search, and then the space name, you can name it whatever you want. In our case, we can just leave it as the default of RVC HF version 2. For this one, you can see this is the only free option. So let's just choose this. Maximum download size, in this case, is 1.4 gigabytes. This is more than enough for what you need. So let's click duplicate space. Now you can see it's building here, and you can see the logs over here. So this is going to take a few minutes. Now you can either exit the logs here, in which case you'll see your space. And then to pull up the logs again to see the progress, you simply click on this button at the top here. So it is a few gigabytes in size. So it's going to take a few minutes to install all the dependencies and the functions and the libraries to run this. All right. So after a while, you should see this running message instead of building. This indicates that it has successfully duplicated the space into your own account. So we can start using this. Now, the first step is to actually download a voice model. You can see it's empty right now. So we can go to the resources tab and download a few models. Now, there are plenty of places for you to find AI voice models. If you're new to our channel, definitely check out this video for all the options. So one simple resource is this website called voicemodels.com which I'll also link to in the description below. And you can search for anyone at the top here. So let's say we want to do Taylor Swift. You can see we have a bunch of options here. So let's just go for the first one. So I'll copy this Hugging Face link and then paste it in here and then click download. All right, you can see it says error occurred. So you can actually pull up the logs to see what the error is. And here it says, okay, it's trying to download this Taylor Swift file but it says error 404, not found. So I guess this file was not found. Let's try another one. Let's try this one, 350 epochs. So again, I will copy the link and then paste it in here. All right, great. This one seems to be working. You can see it has 
downloaded successfully, the model works for inference and has the index file. Let's download a few more. Next, I'm going to do Gura, and then let's go with this one. RVC version 2, 100 epochs. So again, I'll click on this link, and then paste it in here, and then click download. Perfect. Now, final one, let's do a male. Let's do Mr. Beast. So let's do this last one here, RVC version 2, 300 epochs. So again, I will copy this link, and then paste it in here, and then click download. All right, so we also got that success message. Now let's move on to model inference. This is where we convert my voice, in this case, to another person's voice. So if you click this drop down, you're still gonna see nothing. So we need to click refresh. And then if you click it again, you should see the three models that we've just downloaded, Gura, Mr. Beast, and Taylor Swift. Now I've recorded something on my computer, which I'm gonna upload into here. Let me just play this for you real quick. Check out ai-search.io to find all the AI tools for whatever you need. Perfect, so what you could do is drag and drop it into here. You can see it has finished uploading. Now let's select a voice, let's select Mr. Beast, and also select his index file. We don't need to transpose this because it's mail to mail. Let's click convert and see if this actually works. All right, so you, you see I'm getting an error here. And this is what I found. I can't actually drag and drop my audio into here. So what you need to do instead is actually clear this. And then here where it says auto detect audio path, you can see that the audio path is actually in the slash audios folder. So what you need to do is at the top, go to the files tab and then go into the audios folder and then upload your audio file here. So how you do that is you click add file and then upload files and then we can drag and drop my recording into here. So scroll all the way down and then click commit changes to main. All right, you can see that my recording.wave is now in here. And by the way, your recordings should ideally be in wave format. Plus the name should not have any spaces or special characters. If you want to separate words, use underscore instead of spaces. All right, so now that we've uploaded my recording, let's go back to the app. And then you can see it's actually building again. And that's because we've uploaded a file to the audio folder and this triggers a rebuild of the whole project. So unfortunately, this does take some time. It's gonna take a few more minutes. And how you know that it's building is because you see this building message up here instead of running. So let's give this a few more minutes. Three days later. All right, so after a few minutes, this should finish building. And instead of building up here, you should see running. So we are good to go. And if you refresh this list, looks like everything is empty again. So unfortunately, you do need to download everything again. So it's best to upload your recordings first into the audios folder before you do this step. So I'm gonna copy the model download links again and then paste them into here. So here's Mr. Beast, I'm gonna click download. Here's Gura, which I will click download. And finally, Taylor Swift, which I will click download. All right, so once I'm finished this step, let's go back to model inference and then click refresh. And then you should see the three models here. Let's do Mr. Beast first. And now instead of just dragging and dropping my audio into here, I'm going to select from this dropdown and choose my recording. and. Let's also set the index file of Mr. Beast over here. And that's all we need to do. I don't need to transpose this because it's mail to mail. So let's click convert. While this is converting, you can also pull up the logs to see the progress. So you can see that it's doing all of these steps now and it's processing. So this is a good sign. It's a sign that this is working. You can see now the audio is saved. And now if you close this and scroll back down here, you can see that the audio has successfully been processed. So let's play this. Check out ai-search.io to find all the AI tools for whatever you need. Perfect, so we can download this by clicking this arrow. Let's do Taylor Swift now. So Taylor Swift, it's male to female. I would set this to, let's try 10 first and see what that sounds like. And then for the index, I will choose Taylor Swift. And then we can go ahead and click convert. All right, let's see what this sounds like. Check out ai-search.io to find all the AI tools for whatever you need. <laughs> That's pretty good. All right, now finally, let's do Gura. So I'm going to check Gura here, and then we'll choose Gura's index file. And her voice is a bit higher pitch, so I'm going to choose like 13 or something. And then let's click convert. All right, let's hear what this sounds like. 
check out ai-search.io to find all the AI tools for whatever you need. Pretty good. Finally, let's cover text-to-speech. So it's in this TTS tab over here. Here's where you type in what you want them to say. So, so let's try, remember to subscribe to our channel. Seriously, please do subscribe to our channel. It really helps the algorithm show our videos to more people. All right, so if you want to learn more about all these different settings in text-to-speech, again, we already did a full tutorial on that. So check out this video for more info. But for right now, I'm just going to show you the basics. So for the RVC model, if you click this drop down and you don't see anything, you got to click this refresh again, and then you can see your models. So let's do Mr. Beast first. And then here's where you can choose two different algorithms, Edge and Bark. Now Edge does have more voices in different dialects in different locations. So I would definitely choose Edge as the default. And then TTS model, here is where you choose the voice and the dialect. So for English, we got to scroll all the way down to EN and you can see there's different locations. So here's EN Australia. This is an Aussie accent. And then I'm guessing this is a Canadian accent. And then this is a British accent. And then all the way down here is a US accent. So let's do, let's choose Eric because we are doing Mr. Beast, which is a male. All right, so if all is good, let's click convert. And so what this does is it first makes Eric read out this text and then it converts Eric's voice into Mr. Beast's voice. So you're actually going to get two audio files. One audio file over here is Eric's voice and this audio file is Mr. Beast's voice. So let's first play Eric's voice. Remember to subscribe to our channel. All right, so that's Eric and here's Mr. Beast. Remember to subscribe to our channel. <laughs> it's a very epic way of talking. All right, let's do the other two voices now. So let's try Taylor Swift. And for Taylor Swift, we can choose a female now. Let's do Jenny. And then for the index file, let's change that to Taylor Swift and then click convert. All right, let's hear what Taylor Swift sounds like. Remember to subscribe to our channel. Oh my God, I don't know why. <laughs> why does she sound so high pitch? But um, that's why it's always better to do voice to voice than to do text to speech because you can really control the pronunciation and the emphasis and the intonation word for word. Anyways, finally, let's try Gura. So I'm going to change the model and the index file to Gura and then click convert. All right, let's hear what this sounds like. Remember to subscribe to our channel. All right, this sounds pretty good. So that's pretty much it. We've covered voice to voice conversion. We've covered text to speech. The only thing that's missing here is training your own voice model, in which case this will not work. You need a GPU to train a voice model. And if you don't have one, again, we made this video where we show you how to train your own voice model in Google Colab for free. So definitely check out that video. And that's all there is to it. If you found this video helpful, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, we built a site where you can find all the AI tools for whatever you need. Check it out at ai-search.io.